both so close so recently so painfully repeatedly denied so here they come again to throw their first knockout punches in the very ring where this year's heavyweight champions will be crowned and the super heavyweight is back there in Madrid Atletico prefer the experienced Juan Fran to Arias at right back. They recalled Koke after a month's injury absence at the expense of Thomas Lamar in midfield. And most eye-catchingly, they partner Antoine Griezmann with Diego Costa. Bruised in the latter stages of the Champions League, quite like these two. Now Ronaldo! He called that one pure all right. And required Jan Oblak to throw up a strong-wristed right hand. It's Griezmann who went for goal, and Chesney had to be sprightly at his near post. Now Diego Costa has a race on here, away from Bonucci, Costa! Wow. Not to be. There it was, the big chance, and it, this is a brilliant through ball, it really is. Forward again by Godin, lifted in for Griezmann! Against the bar, and up over the bar by Chiellini. What a save this is. It's brilliant. Griezmann, he thinks he scores somehow, Chesney. Felipe Luis. Morata! Thumping header. And now he's one of theirs. Before the thumping header. He's made his mind up. Wow. And he has disallowed the goal. Lamar's corner, Morata's header, slammed in, and Atletico now do have their lead. Jimenez through the crowd. Foot to the floor. Griezmann in, it got a flick. Oh, and it's turned in by Godin. Those towering centre halves are doing the business for them. Diego Cordin, right man, right place. High stakes, such a big game. And how good has he been? And how good have Atletico been? Well, that turned into quite something. What a narrative we had at the start of this round of 16 tie. A game of so many near things, so much tetchiness and tightness. Stop the game. Cristiano! ¿Qué? ¿Ahora cinco y a dormir, eh? ¿Cristiano cinco qué? Llorar, a llorar, a Turín, a llorar. Ya está, 2-0, ni manita ni nada, 2-0 y fuera. Saque la manita pues, y quiera, adiós, vaya calentito. Italia, no vuelva. Cero calentito de aquí. Ay, Italia. To witness on the pitch. As if Atletico needed reminding of uh, 2014 when they lost to Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Tonight's referee officiated that day. Bjorn Kuypers, the experienced official from the Netherlands. And you can feel the tension in the air. A truly real European night. The stakes there for all to see. One of these Europeans alongside Ronaldo and Mandzukic. Dybala is only a substitute. Alex Sandro is suspended. Atletico Madrid love nothing more than a lead to defend. Will this be a picture book moment for that? By those two, maybe the left back. It's a terrific run from him. Matuidi! Blocked by Godin. Well, that was half a chance because as soon as Matuidi pulled the trigger on his left foot. And with the likes of Chiellini and Bonucci. Little touch there from Bernadeschi. Ronaldo goes in. Chiellini! But it won't count. Bjorn Kuypers has blown his whistle. 
Juve and Chiellini are furious. We'll try and pick the bones out of that because everything seemed to happen so, so quick in a busy 18-yard box. The referee has got a big decision to make. Switching play. Lovely first touch from Cancelo. He thought that was a Juve corner. Looked like it to me. Good crossfield ball. That was a better touch from Cancelo. Once more into Koke. Thought about the effort. Chesney. Happy to leave that. Griezmann's got his hands in the air on the left hand side. In from Bernadeschi. Ronaldo! Doing what Ronaldo does! In their hour of need, he steps forward again. The Champions League record goal scorer has got Juve right back in the tie. It was coming. And I talked about Mandzukic pulling the way to that far post area. This time it's Ronaldo. He's always... Oh, it is Bernadeschi. Ooh, and he wasn't too far away either. I think it threw everyone, because everyone... Is... It's a spin at Zola. Bernadeschi! Wow, that would have been some goal. I can't even believe he's had the audacity to take that on again. Spin at Zola with a lovely little flick ball to the far post. He got himself in a great area. Ronaldo with a pass. Spinazzola in towards Ronaldo. Half a chance that for Ronaldo, not easy. Very good ball from Spinazzola. Cancelo. Bernadeschi's effort. Deflected Juve corner. Pulling strings. Pjanic with the corner. Killing his header. Blood coming down the side of his face. Brave as a lion, got there first. Tell you what, Steve. Okay. This time it does go into the penalty area. Morata's header. First sight of goal in the first half for Atletico. Brilliant movement from the Spaniard. He just pulled away from Chiellini. Just real time, easy save from Oblak. What a 45. Well, it's a chance for everyone to take a breath. Absolutely enthralling. And Juventus are still very much in the tie courtesy of Cristiano Ronaldo no surprise there his goal after 27 minutes separates them on the to get the second half here's Ronaldo across towards Mandzukic came off the head of Arias to Juve throw yeah I was just thinking if you're Diego Simone obviously he'd love a clean sheet and going at nil Juve at the start of this second half lifted in towards oh. Ronaldo what a save Ronaldo on the follow-up all kinds of it's appeals. In. It's in. And the referee's given it. Cristiano Ronaldo has done it again. And Juve from two down in the first leg have leveled it up at 2-2. Two -two. Four minutes into the second half. Wow. Whenever people... There's every possibility of that again now. Nobody got a touch to that cross. You just get the feeling when you're watching this game unfold and it looked like it was going to happen. Cancelo's cross, Mandzukic with the flick almost came to... In from Cancelo, free header, Bernadeschi. At the wall, here's Correa. Went alone. Chiellini forward, Ronaldo almost trying to get... Oh, off the ball there, Chiellini and Morata. Oh, he's down again, that's embarrassing from the centre-half. Well, Gun Kuypers has seen it. There might have been something in the first one, but the second one was embarrassing from the Juve sk skipper. And Bonucci is having to calm down his former teammate here. To Ronaldo. Very important challenge from Rodrigo. Just keep an eye on Juve's shape out of possession. For a moment, it looked like the Juventus Stadium holds its breath. Almost broke at the back post to Mandzukic. He looks at the referee more than hope, I think, than anything else. A little bit of desperation. It was just a battle at the far post for Mandzukic and Godin. Saul's cross, long legs of Benu. Griezmann's free kick. Good out. Chesney with the positive. A very relaxed take. Keen. Chance. Backpedalling on black. It's Keen! What a name he could have potentially made for himself there. Big, big chance for the youngster, that.
Excellent work from Chiellini to step in the midfield. Little clip ball over the top. Away from Correa. Still going Bernadeschi. Oh, oh it's been tripped by Correa. Penalty to Juve. The Argentinian got the wrong side. Six minutes to go. And Bjorn Kuypers, the Dutchman, points to the spot. Looked like a penalty. And put Juve in front. Is it ever in doubt? The man of the moment, yet again, with another special ice call moment that could take Juve against all odds into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Truly remarkable. Juve 2 0 down before the game started. You try and paint a picture who's going to be the man to get them out of trouble and there's only ever one man it's Ronaldo how can you write this script when you won't take quickly enough calmly headed back by Chan brilliant from Emre Chan Chiellini's gone down again it's just a barge in the back just get up But there's the whistle, and this extraordinary season of Champions League comebacks continues. Juventus are the latest team to add their name to the list on a memorable night in Turin. No surprise who the hero is, who the man of the moment is. They